welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here with me today. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and activate the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Today, I'm gonna be showing you part of my childhood home here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan where I grew up. So this home is about 30 years old. So I moved in here when I was five and I moved away from home when I was 17, almost 18 years old. And so let's go ahead and have a look inside. So this room right here is called the living room. It's a more formal room, but my family would always set up the Christmas tree in here. We have the wood fireplace. I have so many memories with my dad, starting fires, us sitting around in here and just enjoying the ambiance of the room. And then connected to the living room is the dining room. And so we would often have our big family celebrations. This table opens up even bigger, so it'd be filled with people. We would celebrate our Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, different holidays and things like that in this room. So it was always the room that was reserved for special occasions. It connects right to the kitchen and the family room over this way. So the kitchen, I'm planning on doing a vlog with my mom in the kitchen, so I'm not gonna show too much of it, but coming over here, we have our family room. A fun fact, I actually grew up with no TV. I think I was 12 when my parents finally got a TV, so much of my childhood was spent in the outdoors and just playing around the house. Not much technology at all. And my parents added on and have done a lot of changes to this house since, like I said, it's 30 years old. And one of the things they did was this sunroom connecting to the house so they can use it maybe six months out of the year or so because it does get pretty cold here. Yeah, I think this is a bit of a dream room for my dad because he has the grill. He has a smoker out here, so all of his fresh fish that he catches, the deer that he hunts. Actually, I don't even know how you cook deer meat, but yeah, maybe, maybe he grills it. Dad, I have to ask you. And then I just love the beauty of this room with the, the outdoor space, the gardens. They have blueberry uh, plants outside and it's just super peaceful out here. Something that I'm always surprised at when I come home to visit every one or two years is the quietness of this place. You cannot see a neighbor in sight. Cars rarely go down the road. It's a dirt road that they live on. And so they're just really private and secluded and it's nature, really. I feel like we're really in the woods. They did pay to get some sort of internet booster out here so that they can have a limited amount of internet. And then they do have, of course, electricity and phone service and things like that. But it is a really remote part of the United States up here. I have a lot of memories in my parents' library. I used to love to come into this room and read books. It's so cozy, so relaxing. I don't think my mom has changed much to this room, so it brings back nostalgic feelings. And it's just nice, the ambiance of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys maybe a couple of bedrooms. This is a four bedroom house, three bathrooms, and the bedrooms are mostly upstairs. There's three upstairs and one downstairs. This is always fun as a kid, looking down, throwing things down the railing, spying. We would spy on guests that would come over to the house. And usually my parents' room was off limits. The door was shut, but I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of their bedroom. So 
So I think it makes sense, like why the room was off limits. I'm one of five girls, and so my parents just needed that space to disconnect and have their own space. And so this is their bedroom. I love the views from the windows. They have a nice king bed. And then connected to their bedroom, they have their master bathroom, which they've recently renovated. So this is new, their closet and their bathroom. I shared this room when it wasn't bright red, but when I was little, I shared it with my sister, Kimberly. We had bunk beds in here, and I have one memory of my uncle Bruce throwing stuffed animals from the closet at me and my sister when we were trying to sleep. So Uncle Bruce, if you're watching this, I still remember that. I still remember you scaring us and being like silly with us. So this house has, yeah, another bathroom, a playroom, my dad's office, and another bedroom up here. But I'm gonna show you guys our secret passageways, okay? I remember when we were kids, we used to just sneak through because you don't actually have to enter into my house to get upstairs or downstairs, they have outside stairwells and so we would always play and pretend these were our secret passageways me and my cousin heather would make forts in here and have clubs and we just thought it was the best thing ever so then this connects right to the basement and the basement is finished and it has a lot of cool features that i want to show you guys Secret passageway number two, going down to the basement from my parents' garage. You might have seen the vlog, I don't know if we posted it yet, but where we haul wood and showing you how we heat my parents' house. And so this is where the wood supply is. This is where the stove is. I had my bedroom down here for most of my life, which in the summer, it's the coolest part of the house. In the winter, it's the warmest part of the house. We are always barefoot all year round here. It doesn't matter if it's 70 degrees outside or 20 below zero, you can be barefoot, you can be in t-shirts and shorts because the wood heat makes the house so toasty and so warm. Also, we grew up doing so many winter sports, skiing, snowmobiling, and so I think my parents kept my old ski stuff because I don't need that in South Carolina. Um, we would keep all of our snow stuff in here. Oh, yep. This is my old boot. You need these if you live in the UP. Oh. Anyways, my parents also have a sauna. It's pronounced sauna, not sauna. We're Finnish, I'm half Finnish, and having a sauna in your house is a must in the UP because it's winter here for six months out of the year. I love a good sauna. So I guess I'll show you the workout room. I was super active. My parents instilled a passion and love for exercise, health, and fitness. And so this is their home gym in the basement. I grew up playing basketball, doing sports, running. And then since it's so snowy outside, we would often work out here in the wintertime, lift weights, jog, bike, whatever, really. My parents have an electric sauna. It takes about 20 minutes to heat up. It's super simple. All you do is turn that. That's it. Okay, I'll show you the sauna. Obviously, typically you go naked in a sauna, especially if it's in your home, and it gets up to about 140 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Super hot. I took a sauna last night and the day before, and literally your body feels like it's burning. You're just dripping sweat, but it's super good for your health. It helps you sleep. It helps with stress. It helps detoxify your body. So having a sauna in your house is pretty cool. I loved growing up with one. So like I said, my mom 
will feed you very well. And our basement has an extra ginormous freezer where she freezes their blueberries and things like that. And then she has a lot of pantry and storage space. I don't know how she'd feel about me showing you, but it's pretty impressive. So sorry, mom. <laughs> like you're not gonna go hungry. I think my mom is used to feeding seven people. You know, she always has an abundance of food in her house. So this was the room that I slept in most of my life here in the basement. I don't think anything's changed. It still has the original wall boards and everything. Uh, super funny. It's pretty much used for storage now, um, but this was my room. This is super typical of my mom to make sun tea. So she just steeps a bunch of black tea bags out in the sun all day and then she adds lemon juice and sugar and they drink tea. I love coming out here and picking blueberries. So do my kids. Every day we're out in the blueberry bushes. I think they have around 200 blueberry plants. I mean, there's nothing like eating fresh Michigan berries from my parents' blueberry bushes. Mmm, they're so good. I wish you could try this. This is my parents' vegetable garden. We grew up having a vegetable garden. They have to put the big fence around it because otherwise the coyotes or the bears or the deer will come and eat their vegetables. My parents used to do a lot of canning and so we used to have a huge garden. Now that it's just my mom and dad, it's a lot smaller, um, but it's beautiful. I love eating fresh from the garden. These are my favorite, the snap peas. They're so good. Thank you guys so much for watching the mini tour of my childhood home. It was a lot of fun to film. It brought back a lot of fun memories. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.